Hey, what is going on, guys? My name is Bubloon, aka Pabloon, and today we are finally checking out something that is not copy paste, fellas and ladies. This is the Hampshire, a British tier 8 cruiser that has a lot of turrets. It has 10 barrels, all in double turrets. These are 203 millimeter, and this bad boy only has AP. So sticking to the British theme of having AP only on the cruisers, or at least some of them, this thing is going to be interesting. I have spec this with Toby, so we can get the maximum AP penetration possible with this. And we're going to go check out the details of this thing. It gets scouting plane, three uses, which is kind of nice. It gets sonar and it gets DFA too. The guns themselves, as you can see, they are 203 millimeters. It can go only 29 knots, which is actually not that fast. But then again, it is a big ship with a lot of guns. Um, the guns reload in 9 seconds. They only have a 12 kilometer range, but for tier 8, that's somewhat okay, I would say. Especially because you get the scouting plane, that definitely helps. Um, it has a nice citadel damage rate. I'm pretty sure normal cruisers have 150%, so this is good. Um... And the turret traverse is not too bad. That is because in the elite bonus here, I went with main battery traverse speed. You could take the other one. Um, I just don't think the AA is going to be crazy good. I haven't tested this yet. This is a first impression. So yeah, we'll we'll find out if we face, if we face a CV. Let's go check out the AA and the torpedoes here. So it gets four torpedoes per side. They can be fired single file, and they go just under eight kilometers. Pretty standard British, and they are. <laughs> High damage, they're good torpedoes, I'm pretty sure. Here we have the AA, and uh, it actually isn't all too bad. I guess you could be wanting more. I, you always want more AA, but with the defensive fire too, that's definitely going to help, I think. So, the way I built, built this is pretty simple, like I always do with my cruisers. Or The only thing that really changes is the slot one. And t today I'm taking dispersion, because you have double turrets and... Although we have good volume of fire, we have 10 shells going at the target. I still feel like this is necessary, even before I've tried it. We have a propulsion mod and then concealment. Concealment is so I can pick my fights and I can engage, sorry, disengage a little bit easier. So um, for those of you wondering why I would take this, concealment gives you a lot more flexibility and that's why we do it. Finally, we have Tovi here and um, except for being a normal elite commander, yeah, he gets Demolition Expert, which is really good, and he gets APCS. I did take Citadel Strike together with this, so I'm, I'm, I'm hoping we get some Citadels, guys. So let's just hop in to the first um, game, and sorry, before that, let's check out the camo here. So, it's a nice looking camo, I, I like this camo, it looks good. I haven't been given any special camo for this ship, so um, I don't know if there is any, but... This is the skills. It's pretty basic, actually pretty bad, but hey, it's it is what it is. Let's hop in. All right, here we go. Lucky us, we're facing the Rome Atlantico. It wouldn't be tier eight without this experience. There are quite a few bots, so that's very unfortunate. But if I'm not satisfied with this first game, I'll just take another one. Bring you guys along for that. Sea of Fortune, it looks like. Domination. I'm very happy with this. This, this is good. And can I just say how nice it feels to play something that isn't Haida? This is the first ship I've played after the Haida 100k challenge. If you haven't watched it, guys, it is a long video. You can just skip to the last game. But uh, if you want to see the, the journey and the pure suffering that I endured, and uh, it, it ended up being pretty pretty funny. At least I thought so. You can go watch that out. Uh, watch that out. You can go check that out, and uh, I would really appreciate that. But now we're going to take a look at this bad boy. I like the way the look the ship looks. It it's it looks sleek, but it's also big. You know, it's um it's not too fat. <laughs> I mean, if you're used to Goliath, the, that thing is kind of fat. This thing is a little bit more agile. It also seems pretty agile. Turns kind of nice. Let's see how quick you stop. Set uh, around nine seconds to full speed. So that is with prop mod, of course. There we go, and then we're stationary. Okay, we're spotted. Um, we only have AP, so let's see how these guns perform. We have the Atlantico here. Yeah, that's pretty good damage. 
Lean Molly? <laughs> My man, that is a that is an inappropriate name. There's kids around here, bro. Got a high school kid here, man. High school kid who wants to be a rapper. Let's see how we do with these guns. I mean, it, it, it's oof. We probably need to aim for his stern a little bit here. It is Atlantico. That thing is tanky as all hell. A little bit better, I would say. So, can we shoot over this? Oh, the Roma is here too. I think it's a good idea we ran away because uh, these guys could make mincemeat of me. We don't have any special heals like some other British ships, so keep that in mind. You're not... You don't have that, you know, get out of jail free card. He's just up to full HP again, this guy. We're going to be able to farm some damage off of him, but it's going to take a while to do that. Even on the stern, guys, we do very little damage to him. Let's see how we do on the Roma. Oh, this is a bad position because we're going to be broadside to pretty much both of them. I will preemptively heal. Not in range of any torps, but maybe the Roma might be in... No, it's too far away. Still, I'll, tr I'll try it. All right, this Roma is... He's not going to get hit by those, I'm pretty sure, but... They do look pretty good. Okay, we have the Atlantico here. This is whew, this is about to get really, really gnarly, man. Good thing my Benham's coming in here. We're not doing that much damage, I feel like. I f it, it, maybe this thing is meant to hunt cruisers. Oh, that was a bad salvo. What time is left? We Oh, they're ready, they're ready. Fuck. What do we do here, guys? What do we do? Okay, Kagero is there. Um, Atlantico, I'd rather shoot torpedoes at the Atlantico, but the problem is if I do that, then the Kagero will see them. We're gonna scoot between here. Oh, he dodged that, that's bad. He also dodged it, oh my goodness. Oh no, we're getting, we're getting cornered, guys. And we can't... We overpin the dude. That's bad. Very, very uh, unfortunate situation I found myself in here, guys. Um, but we actually somehow still... Is, we're still alive, but we're probably going to die to Roma here in just a second. Yeah, we died to Roma, but we did get the Kagero. Oh, <laughs> that, was a, that was a rough one. So, first impressions... I'm kind of like... Not good against... You know, battleships? I don't feel like we did any damage. We only did 39,000. And remember, this is with APCS, and it's an AP-only ship, so I would kind of imagine that it would have better AP pen. We got a game here with uh, not as many bots. Weed boy. <laughs> okay. And we're definitely in NA right now. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do. There's both some tier 7 and some tier 8 here, but mostly tier 8. And it's a gold channel with center control. I like this. This is good use. Uh, sorry, a good map for a uh, scouting plane. I'm gonna see if we can get some more damage. Let's see what we can do. Hmm. Should we try something cheeky? Should we try fl flanking this game? I don't know. Is that a bad idea? It might be a bad idea. There's only really an Atlantan, and then there's three DDs, two Bensons. One of them's a bot. I have a feeling this could work out. We have a decent de concealment range. I think it's uh, it's at eight kilometers base, eight point something base, and um, we are running concealment and stealth supplies. You know, high grade coal. So I, we get a pretty decent concealment range. What's this? A DD. Uh, he's turning, so I'm not going to shoot yet. I want to get a... I don't want to, you know, expose my position just for potentially hitting a target. He's turning too much. The Atlanta, baby. That is what we want to shoot at. This guy is easy target for us. Oh, yeah. Good damage on the Atlanta. Shit, we got a Vladivostok who's mad at us. Oh, wow, that was a bad salvo.
All right, final salvo out, then we're gonna lose our scouting plane. We probably need to do something soon. We did not too much damage to Atlanta. I mean, maybe we did hit him in the stern or the bow. I I did see a couple salvos do that, but I've st again, again, this these guns feel super underpowered considering we have the best captain for this. Some you know, captain with APCS. They are pushing in to hold the cap here. Um, We'll just sit here actually and just farm them from the side. Let me get a couple shells on the Vladivostok. He is taking damage though, so I will just farm him. At some point, we will have to get closer to the enemy and try to take them out. Sorry, try to take the cap. We can't be sitting here all time, all the time, and just camp. We'll try to take out this Minsk here. Minsk should be dead. Nice. Good, good, good. Alright, we're gonna... Push this way? I don't know. Is that a good idea? Oh no, they're just taking out my old team, dude. They are just nuking the boys. Yeah, dude, this is not going to be easy. Oh, I had a battleship who pushed with me. That is obviously a... <laughs> oh, that's an issue. That I, I shouldn't flank because people just follow. Okay, first real good salvo on a DD, I would say. Did we not hit that Benson with Torps? Oh, that really looked like I was going to, but... Yeah, now we just overpinned like crazy. It's rough. It is rough. Enemy Looks like we dodged most of those. Ooh, this is crazy, man. Renowned 44 is down. We're, st we're still not doing any damage to my uh, Atlanta friend over there. There he is. Oh man, I need to hit this Benson now, bro. Oh, that was kind of nice. Alright, weed boy. Tr <laughs> Trump weed boy. <laughs> NA is a funny place, man. You guys are <laughs> crazy over here, man. It's a crazy place. What am I doing fighting Trump weed boy here? Oh, I was an awful salvo. What the hell? Oh, we're going to get the Torps in his... Booty. Look at that. Beautiful. Yoink. See, this is the kind of damage I was hoping to get at least, but looks very difficult. Where is he at? There he is. We will also destroy you, bro. I have a feeling we might we might be able to take this guy out right here. If we get some better hits than this, obviously, we, we could. Okay, come on. Very nice. Very nice. Amagi time. Oh, no. Oh, no. To don't tell me these torpedoes reach. Oh, bro. Yeah, that's it. We tried. I think that was a uh, better attempt. 90k, that's the highest we're going to get. Obviously, I did go on a very wide flank and kind of didn't help my team. But I wanted to limit test, see how, how do you play this? And it seems to me that this is definitely more of a flanking cruiser. You know, you sit on the side and you use your, your scouting plane. You are decent against DDs, but I still feel like it's very underpowered against cruisers. And I don't know, maybe in my opinion, buff the guns just a little bit. And this thing would be a very fun little premium tier 8 cruiser. I, I enjoy the, the layout of it. I enjoy the skills. I enjoy, you know, the stats. It's got a fine reload. It's got decent range combined with the scouting plane. Yeah. So definitely if they buff the, the guns just a little bit, I think this would be in a very fine place. And, you know, that's how it works. If a ship comes out underpowered, they, they tend to buff them later on because it's easier to buff a ship than it is to nerf a premium ship makes 
perfectly good sense from wargaming side of things. So I will be looking forward to seeing this thing buffed at some point. <laughs> Don't know how long that's going to take though. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. My name is Ben Bobloon, aka Pabloon, and I am signing out.